Hey, a little brighter today than yesterday. Uh, I thought I'd do this for a couple of reasons. Number one, we got a storm on the way to the island like I talked about last night. And I don't think I've ever done a Facebook Live in the pitch dark, but I did one last night and just rolled with it. So as you guys know, these aren't scripted at all, but uh, it, was, uh, it was a chance to see if I could uh, keep it going. So I did, but my name is Alan Thomas and I have Rethink Dieting for Men, which is a program where I help obese men overcome the, the weight that's holding them back from living the life they were destined to live. And uh, today it's bright and sunny kind of, Kind of need some shade here, but uh, we're going to make it work like we made the darkness work last night. But, um, you know, my story, for those of you that haven't heard it before, I know this is a repeat for a lot of you guys, but, you know, in 2017, I stepped on the scales and I saw 304 pounds staring back at me. I was 55 years old, um, father of four, had a 15-year-old all the way up to 27-year-old and had uh, had just been fighting obesity for decades and decades. And, and on March 2nd, 2017 is really where everything turned for me. And um, after failing at literally dozens and dozens of diets, dozens of exercise plans, just nothing ever seemed to work. You know, 5'11", 304, 55 years old, I just knew it was a, it was a prescription for death. I mean, it was, you know, besides all the embarrassment of being morbidly obese, besides your kids, you know, literally being ashamed to bring friends over because their dad's obese, besides, you know, I know one of my, one of my sons, when he was like 17 or 18, he said, I guess dad doesn't love us enough to, to get his weight off. Um, you know, he said that to my wife. He didn't say that to me. You know, they were leaving notes around the house. I mean, you know, all these things, of all the effect on everybody in my family, and I just couldn't get this weight thing down. It was just, you know, it was crazy. I kept putting it off and procrastinating and looking for the perfect diet and looking for the perfect exercise plan. And, you know, with, and what it was is I didn't really have the key to get it done. And, but when I saw that three or three and four pounds, after being in the life insurance business where I served the senior market, that's people, you know, typically over 65 years old, I could never remember meeting a man 65 years old that weighed more than 100 pounds overweight. I mean, they're, they're probably out there. I just couldn't remember ever meeting one. And I was like, oh my God, I'm dead in less than 10 years. The reality was I really was believing I was dead in less than five years. I didn't have any major medical issues, had a couple things going on, but nothing big, you know, a little cholesterol, you know, stuff that you could, you could excuse and say, oh, it's no big deal. But, you know, the reality is people walk into the, the emergency room of the hospital with chest pain and die of a heart attack every single day that had nothing wrong with them. And I knew that I had one big thing wrong with me that was just as plain as the nose was on my face, and it was my morbid obesity. You know, the, all the times where I'd sat in chairs and literally had to look, like this chair I'm sitting in right now, it, you can't see the arms of it, but I couldn't have sat in this, you know, because my, my backside would have been so big, I would have had to have chosen to sit somewhere else or walking into somebody's house and, you know, and them, them kind of gasping under their breath because I was so fat, they didn't realize I was that big. And, you know, in seeing classmates you know, that I went to high school or junior high or college with just, you know, look at me like, what is, have you let happen to you? And, and while everybody has a challenge in their life, you know, mine I wore on the outside of me and it was, it was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. But now it, it, it in 2017, on March 2nd, it was more than embarrassing. It became super urgent. It became so urgent that I had to do something right then. And, you know, what's crazy is, you know, I, you know, the process I went through, I, I literally from March 2nd to November 17th, I went from 304 to uh, at age 55 to a weight I hadn't seen since I was like 20 years old, which was 175 pounds. I went, um, I did it in 260 days. And people said, well, what's different? Is I, and what was different was it, it brought up so many memories this morning or in yesterday morning. I was riding my bike and I pray and I think and I ride along the beach. We live on Amelia Island, which, as I said, we got a hurricane coming, but I, but it's uh, you know mile from the beach, mile from downtown where we live. And you know, you, I was thinking back, you know, different victories I'd had in my life that had nothing to do with weight. You know, I remember when I got my first car getting the keys to that car and starting it up. I can still remember that. I remember when I was still in college, I was working my way through college and got my first house. 
and getting the keys to that. I remember when we moved to Florida, it was a dream of ours to buy a home on the island, getting the keys to the, to the house, my wife and I having that. You know, having, when, when I was in 20, uh, I guess it was 1988, Angie and I saw this, this men's store that we loved, uh, and, you know, just loved it. I said, that's exactly what I want. And my, myself and two partners got the keys to that store within a year. And, and I can't explain how it all happened. I mean, a lot of that's very pragmatic, very simple processes that happened. But, but it was when I got the key. When I got the key to being able to open the doors when everything changed, and I know that's kind of a kind of a hokey metaphor probably for you, but it really is beyond that. I mean, I think that we spend all this time looking for the how to. We look for the how to how to lose the weight. Well, what did you do? You know, people would ask me what I did, and I would always jokingly say, "You don't want to do what I did. You wouldn't do it." And and they you know and they laughed and they were they were looking for a band aid. They were looking for a band aid for a for a bleeding wound that was just, you know, when I say that I mean, metaphorically, they were, you know, morbidly obese and looking for a way to lose five pounds. I mean, they would, they would, and I did this. I, I was, you know, you know, looking for a pill I could take, looking for a shot I could take. I, I considered the lap band and the, and the, um, you know, gastric bypass, which I, no, not shaming anybody who's had that done. God bless you. I hope it's worked, but I knew all the risk. And I was I going to risk my life going under surgery for something that I should be able to control myself? And, and so going through that process, you know, when, when I figured out what the key was, what the key was to get me there, it was never about the diet and exercise. Did I have to change what I eat? Do the men that are losing amazing amounts of weight that, that I'm working with have to change what they eat? Of course they do. I mean, it's not, it, this isn't some magic, you know, I don't throw pixie dust at people and say, oh, you know, lose weight. And it doesn't work that way, but, but it's, or, you know, go run 800 miles and you're going to lose weight. No, no. I tell my guys all the time, you cannot outrun the fork. That's what a coach told me years ago. You can't outrun the fork. It's too fast. And, uh, and so, you know, but, but when I, but when I get, but when I got committed, really committed, there's, there's nothing that's unachievable for the committed, somebody who's really committed to something and just will. And that's the way I was in March of 2017. That's what changed everything for me. It was never about the diet and exercise plan. It was about the power to stick to one. And then it was about, then it became after I lost the weight, I learned even more. You know, you, I thought, you know, the learning was over when I hit, uh, hit 175. Well, no, it wasn't. You know, because what do fat people usually do? They go back and become fat again. So I, I started gaining some weight. I did. And then I, then I realized, wait a minute, I'm thinking about this wrong. And I had to, had to shift again, had to shift my thinking again and, and change the way I thought about it to get the key to, the key to st- keep the weight off. And so, you know, I say all this to you guys to give you hope because, you know, when I walk into the closet now and I, I don't see any of those morbidly obese clothes, the 48 size, 46 pants that stretch to a 48, so I wouldn't have to say I was a 48, like 46 isn't fat enough. You know, when I meet somebody now, and it's not a beauty contest, but it is nice when you, when you look at yourself and you're not ashamed to be in a picture with your family, when they're not ashamed to introduce friends of theirs to you because they don't want them to know that their dad is, uh, is morbidly obese. When you're not ashamed to walk into, you know, to a room with people and, and you know, and, and I'm speaking to the guys that are, that are obese. You know what that creature is like around your neck when I say that. I mean, the, the, when you've got 100 extra pounds on your 50 or 75 or whatever the number is or 200 pounds, whatever it is, it's the same thing. It's this prison where you feel like you can't do what you're supposed to do. And I say, say this all the time. There's more potential covered up by obesity in this country. Oh, my God, it's, 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 it's so sad. And, you know, there's, the numbers keep going up. It was 39% of Americans were, were obese. Now it's moved up to 42%. I heard this the other day. I haven't verified that number. But 42% of Americans are obese. So, so we spend $72 billion on diets and exercise plans. Okay, so let's think about this. So you're spending all this money on that, and, and we're still getting fatter. Well, maybe it's not the diet and exercise plan that are the key. Maybe that's just part of the solution. Like when I had, when we got the key to, to my, when I got the key to my first car, well, the car had to have parts and had to have things that made it work. But the key, without the key, nothing worked. 
And when I walked into my house, and it, you know, and, and I, I have a thought that I'm going to share that I just thought about. When I walked into my house the first time, it had to have a roof on it. But the key to get in that door, would it, the roof made no difference without the key to that door. Probably one of the most fun keys that I've ever picked up in my life and put, in, put into to a lock that, that unlocked it was when in 20, um, 2004 um, or 2005, I, I was in a contest that my wife had entered me in without me even knowing, and there's a whole story behind this, but, but it, was, it was to win a car. It was to win a, um, a Mazda RX-6 or whatever it was. It was red. And, and when I got in, when I reached my hand in the bag and pulled out a key, if the key started the ignition, it was your car. And, and that's what happened to me. I reached into that. There's a picture of that, that very day that it happened. And there, as I said, there's a huge story around that. But, but I put that key in the ignition and the car cranked. It was my car. It became my car that second. All my kids are running around. People, there's actually newspaper around, and the, you know, people around. There's a radio station. This is in Columbia, South Carolina, at Ray Mazda, and and I won this car. But I would have never won it without the right key. I had to stick my hand and, and draw this random key out. Well, what I'm saying to you guys is to give you hope. Is there's a key to your weight loss? There is. There's a key to getting back your certainty that you had, but when you were younger. There's a key to getting back your your mojo, so you can walk into the walk into the boardroom and be just the bad. Excuse my language in the boardroom and to be to be that that guy that your wife married you for, or or to find that significant other. There's a key to that. There's a key to it, but you've got to have the key. Does it run the whole car? Does it, does it, you know, is it the tires? Is it the engine? Is it the, you know, and I'm thinking of every metaphor I can think of here. No, but without the key, nothing works. And this is what I found. And that's what men who I'm working with are finding out. They're finding out it's not the, it, it's not, it doesn't matter that I'm not a doctor. I'm not a doctor. I tell guys all the time, listen to your doctor. Don't do anything unsafe. Listen to him. Get a checkup. Do all that stuff. Get it, but if the doctor could have fixed it, he'd already be thin. I tell him I'm not a nutrition or dietitian. You know, nutrition diet got great ideas. I know exactly what to do. But if the nutritionist and dietitian could have got him thin, he'd already be thin. I'm not a physical fitness expert. I mean, I ride my bike, I walk, I, I do some running, I do you know, I do some calisthenics, some different things to make me feel better. But if that was going to solve that guy's problem, if a physical trainer was going to solve it, he would already be thin. So are those important components? Yes, of course they are. But is it, but is the real important component that you're missing the key? The key to give you the power to stick to a diet because you've been on a hundred different diets that didn't work or a thousand, you know, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I, I don't know if I hit a hundred, but I didn't miss it by much of different diets. The, the program that I used to lose weight, I'd failed on six or seven times. It's a great program. I love it. I absolutely adore it. It's great, but it was not the key. The key was in here. The key was me. And so, and, and that's what I love when the guy gets it. That's what I, I was on the phone with a client on Friday who's getting it. He's within 10 pounds of his, of his target weight that last year he couldn't even believe he could, he could hit. And he's so close and he's so powerful. And he's like, he's moving up his date to reach his goal because he's, because he's got the key. And then it's like one of, one of the guys that, that reached their target weight today, not today, uh, this week, this past week, I've talked about him, Matt. He's an amazing guy who <coughs> at 5'6 and 275, when he set his weight at 180, he couldn't even fathom being 180. Well, he hit that because he got the key. Now he's got the key and he's saying, well, maybe I could be even healthier at 150 because I'm only 5'6. And I'm like, see what, you know, do what's healthy, do what makes sense, but you have the key, go do it. So having the key, having the key to, to whatever it is you're, you're doing is not the whole solution, but it, nothing works without it. And so when I, did, when I work with men that are struggling with obesity, they're afraid they're going to leave their children. They're afraid, you know, they've got mountains of life insurance because that's what I, I sold for a living. I know about life insurance, and I, and, and I have plenty of it on myself, and you should have some on you. But really, is that all you are, is money to your family? Do you, do you not want to live so that, you can, so that you can speak wisdom into your children and grandchildren or to your wife, or do you, could, do you not want to live so that you can live out that purpose that you know is on your heart? Do you not want to live so that you can have another another day on earth so that you can so that you can carry out that thing that you've you've had aching inside of you? We gotta have the key. 
And so when I, when I see men get the key, they get it. Maybe they get it at 10 pounds down. Maybe they get it at 50 pounds down. Maybe they get it at five pounds down, but it's so cool to see. And I get chill bumps, goose bumps, god bumps, whatever you call them. Goose pimples, I think they say in Great Britain. And so when, when people get the key, they get the key to it. They, it's like they can do anything. Then all of a sudden their business starts getting better. They start selling more if they're in sales. They just, all of a sudden their relationships start to get better. And I can't promise in this. I'm, I tell them all the time. I say, when you know, what I want to do is find the vein of gold. You know, I'm not doing this so they get skinny. I want them to be skinny. I want them to be healthy. I want them to lose weight. I want them to get out of the mindset that they can't do this because they can. I want, I want all that for them. But what I'm, what I'm mining for in these men is, is the vein of gold. Because within every one of these men's heart is a vein of gold that, that they have not tapped into. There was veins of gold that I had not ta- tapped into when I had my obesity because that obesity held me back. It held me back from being the man that I was destined to be. I'm still becoming that guy. I'm, I'm only 58. Look how young I am. I figured it out now. Some of you guys say, well, 58's old. No, it's not. You know, go, hey, wait until you're 57. You're going to think 58's young. So, so when, I, when I see this, I, I want more runway. I want more runway so that I can go out and serve more men, just like you. You might want want more runway so that you can do whatever it is. And, you know, I have all these dreams and hopes and desires. I don't want to let weight hold me back. Are you kidding me? That's why I had to find the key. I didn't know what it'd be. I didn't even know I had it for a while. Even after I lost the weight, I didn't know I had it. I just knew it was working. And so when somebody came to me in in April last year, this guy, amazing individual, and and he's, he's been on here with me before, Mark. And, and so when, when Mark, he, he recognized I had the key. And he said, would you help me? I said, I don't know if I want to help you. I mean, it wasn't that I was rude to him. I just said, I don't want to tell anybody what to eat and what exercises to do. Because that's not the key. That's not what he needed. And, and he said, would you help me anyway? And I said, I'll, I will. And, and, I, and we negotiated three sessions. I said, but I don't even know if I want to do this. But here's, what, here's the ground rules. And I gave him the ground rules. He said, no problem. He got the key almost immediately. It was crazy. He started to lose weight. He started to he started to speak in front of groups that the the enemy or the the creature, whatever you want to call it, that he felt was around his neck was it was gone. Even before he lost it, I think he's down like 65, 70 pounds right now. He's still losing weight. It, it doesn't matter. You have to understand that health part is is essential. It's essential. It's like the engine. The health piece is the engine. You've got to have an engine to go. And I tell my men, they've got to get their weight off. Because if they're going to go out, if, they're, if they have this key to what, to what gets their weight down, they've got to use it. Is it easy? Heck no. It's not easy. So when I, when I talk to men, I said, you've got to be the guy who's sick and tired of being sick and tired like I was, or I can't help you. You've got to be the guy who says, I don't want to go another day being morbidly obese and being hopeless and being made fun of at work under their breath and, and meet, you know, not being the man that I'm, is, that I'm supposed to be with my wife from everything from the bedroom to the boardroom and in, in everything because it affects it all. Guys, you don't know this. I mean, you don't know what you're missing. I mean, when you walk into your son's closet because all your jeans are too tight or too loose, not too tight, and you and you've got you know you were your jeans are forty two and or forty four or forty six or thirty eight and they're just hanging on you. You walk in and you get a pair of his skinny jeans that are thirty three or thirty four waist and you put them on and say these fit. How cool is that? And now, do I am I going to win a beauty contest? Clearly, this is video. You know I'm not. But, but to have that feeling, do you not think that made me a better dad, a better husband, a better at what I do for work? Do you not think that made me better? Oh, my God, yeah, it gave me confidence. You know, we, when we have that certainty that we can step into something and, and walk through it and win, there's so much power that we gain from that as we lose these pounds. So I say this to you, you guys. You know, I'm again. I say it all the time. I'm not a doctor, a physician, a nutritionist, a, a, a um, physical fitness expert, a dietitian. List them all. I'm not one of them. But I got the key. Does it work 100 percent of the time? I haven't seen it fail yet when somebody applied it 100 percent of the time. Is it possible to to have a to apply something 100 percent of the time? Well, you tell me. I believe it is. I did. The men that I'm that I'm working with are, and even when they fall down, they get back up. When they figure out that they can get back up and then press forward, you know Matt, who hit who hit 180 today um, this week, I think it was Wednesday, he hit 180, and Matt was like, you know, he it was he was excited, exuberated, you know, all the all the X words, and, and so did he fall down along the way? Sure, he did, 
it's okay. Do you think he's worrying about the times he fell down or is he focused on the fact that he won? Well, he won. He won. He's, and he's still winning. And I said, Matt, the good news, here's the great news. You hit it. Now, here's, here's the, even, the, the even better news is you've got to keep doing. You've got, to keep, you've got to keep excelling. It's nothing that ever ends, guys. It's not a magic pill, but, but there's magic within you, just like there was magic within me, and there's magic within, the, within each individual that, that wants out. And it wants out so that, so that you can live into that person you're supposed to be. And, and I, you know, I, I talk about this a lot. You know, people... People come to me, men come to me, and they're, they're wanting to know what diet I used. You know, they get on a call with me. And if that's the reason you're calling me, I t- and I, I'm quick to tell them, I am not your guy. If you're looking for a diet, go to YouTube, go to um, Google. Just Google diets. You'll get about a zillion of them. Pick one. I said, they know more than I do about that. Okay? Google whatever you want. Do I know some technique? Of course I do. You learn things along the way. But but if they're looking for a diet, they don't need me. They go, go do the diet. But you're 200 pounds overweight, so is that the diet that you really need? Or is it something else? Do you need the key? And so when, when people come to me and they say, you know, well, well I, I need a diet that really works. Or I need an exercise plan that really works. I said, do you? And they'll say, I, I, I want to I learn a lifestyle. And what they're meaning is an eating lifestyle. I want a lifestyle. I don't, don't want a diet. I said, is that what you really need? What, it, what they really need is what I needed and what it gave me when I got the key to getting to lasting weight loss. It was never about the diet. It was never about the exercise. It was never about the lifestyle of of fitness and all this stuff. It was always about getting the life, the life I'd always dreamed of, the life that I always dreamed of that I knew I could have. And I knew it was this close. I was, and I use this metaphor all the time. I was always 11 days out of of the promised land. Now, did it take me longer than 11 days? Of course it did. It took me 260 days to lose 129 pounds. But I was 11 days out of the promised land, and I took 40 years, just like the Israelites. You know, they're they're running from the the biggest army on the planet Earth at the time, the Egyptians, and they they see all these miracles, and they would go around and around and around and around and around circles. That's what I was doing. You know, I was crafting my own idols in the middle of the the desert. You know, I was going to make this pill the idol or this diet the idol or whatever, and it was always, it was never the key. The key was a roadmap that, that put me straight on a course that was 260 days to the promised land of being, of being fit and have energy and have all these things that, that, you, that you say that, that I always said I really wanted, but I was unwilling to do, really. And so I say this to you in encouragement. I'll close with this because it's been a long one. Is you're, you're, you're closer than you think. But understand there's a vein of gold that runs in, inside of your heart. There's a vein of gold that you were created for. And, and if you want to have an honest conversation, reach out to me. I mean, I, I give this every time. And, you know, I tell people all the time, when you get on the phone with me, it's not about me selling you something. I'm interviewing you honestly, and I'm going to be real blunt here. I'm interviewing you to see if you're a guy that, that really wants the key, if you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. If you're like the men that, you know, one of, my, one of the guys that came in, he's, it's so much fun to watch. He, he just got out of the 300s. He's dropped 18 pounds. And, and um, gosh, I guess it's been about... 16 days and and so it's amazing to watch and he knows he's going much 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 lower or another one who who's you know who's 10 pounds out from his goal weight or another one who's who's stepping into the role of the man that he's knew he's being all these things happening and I'm like how cool is that how cool is that so if you're looking it when you get on a call with me I'm seeing if you're right for my program I am I'm totally interviewing you you can interview me all you want but I'm really checking to see if you're that guy and if you are that guy that's sick and tired of being sick and tired, whether you got, you know, 40 pounds to lose or 400 pounds to lose, you got to have the key. Because if you got 40 pounds to lose, that means in two years you might have 80 or 120. Are you ready to stop the bleeding now? Are you ready to get the key that will give you weight loss? Am I everybody, for everybody? Absolutely not. I'm not everybody's answer. And so if you're looking for a diet, I'm not your guy. Don't, don't schedule a call. But if you're looking for a solution, I believe I have one. It's proven, it's proven itself to me. I'm shocked, truthfully. I'm like, wow. How cool is that? Watching these guys excel, watching the watching the power that they have within them come alive, watching them find all this stuff, and and I and I get to be the spectator in the front row. It's like getting you know we've I've got um, good friend Scott Spate who's also a coach, and Scott uh, Scott introduced me to Donnie Lewis, and Donnie Lewis and I became friends, and Donnie was Peter Frampton's tour manager. He would get us these cool seats to Peter Frampton concerts, and it's like when you got it's like when you. That's how I feel every day when I get to see these men come alive. Some it takes longer. 
but when they get it, they get it, and you can tell when it's about when they're about to pop. Like that one's about to that one's about to to get it, and and they and it's so much fun. So I'm interviewing you when you come to transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. That's a breakthrough session with me, and I'm going to get serve you regardless of whether you're right for my program. I'm going to I'm going to point out things and see if I can find things that'll help you in in your journey, whether you're right for the program or not. But but I'm looking to see if you're one of those guys that wants the key, because I want to be in the front row of your life. I want to be in the front row at, at those at those seats that you can only get if you know somebody that's worked for the band, and and to get there and to sit there and watch you as you soar and watch you as you win and you're like. It was always so simple. And I'm like, yeah, isn't it cool? So, guys, thanks for listening to this extra long one, middle of the day, not in the darkness. Um, you know, these are, uh, these are fun for me to do, and I just speak my heart to you. But, but I love you guys, and trust me, be encouraged. Don't give up. You know, whether I'm your answer or somebody else is, be encouraged that there is a way out and there's a key to all this. So you guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.